So you managed to recover from Tuesday night. It looked a, a real game on a heavy pitch there to get to get used to, and obviously a fantastic result. Yeah, yeah, fantastic result. Um, it was a it was a difficult game because of the pitch, but um, I think we managed we managed to play the game um, very well actually. Um, we won on penalties, so but yeah, I think it was a it was a tough game for everybody for the legs. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel fine now. But I'm, I'm not sure about the other other guys because they played the game a few days before also, and uh, I haven't played the game in three weeks. So um, it was good to to play a game again. And also put your hand up for the penalty. It didn't look the easiest of conditions for the standing foot for the penalties. Yeah, but no excuse. Should have been a goal. But um, <laughs> because of Palmer, we won the game. So um, we saved three three amazing penalties. So. Um, it's very, very nice. And as a player living abroad, growing up and watching English football, seeing Wembley, to think that I know you're putting it to bed for now, but you know, your one game for Wembley must be very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And um, yeah, we're going to keep uh, giving everything every game. So uh, that will be nice. How frustrating was the injury period you've been out? It was about a month or so, I think, wasn't it? You've been out with, with the injury and then obviously sitting on the sidelines. Has that been a, a bit frustrating? Yeah, well, it wasn't really the injury. It was more uh, COVID um, mm -hmm. that kept me out. Um, and yeah, just a uh, standard procedure to to be at home uh, for 10 days and then slowly get back into training. So that's that was more the hard part, to just do nothing. I, I've had friends who've had COVID and they've all been affected in, in very different ways. Did it hit you quite hard? Um, no. It was it was alright actually, um, just no taste and smell. But apart from that, it was uh, it was alright. Just the sitting at home was, was quite hard, very boring. Yeah, and I guess also because you you know you can't travel outside the UK at the moment. You can't pop home as well or have family pop across and support you. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen them for uh, a long time since I've been here. I think so. Um, so yeah, but it's part of the job. Yeah, I mean, I, look, I've got the same. I've got family. I think I've said to you before over in Sweden. I haven't seen in a similar time. It is quite difficult, but is it great when you see the the videos of them watching you play and and your experiences? You know, they're watching the the games. That must be a great feeling that they yeah. can at least support you in that way. Yeah, they watch uh, every game, even if I don't play. They watch every game. They are um, um, they really like to to watch the the games here, and um, it's also good for them to just have a sort of distraction in these uh, in these hard times. And is there much media interest in you? I know you're not playing in the in the Premier League, but you know, is there much interest in in, in Holland in, in your story and, and trying to get your career going with Lincoln City? Uh sorry, I said it again. Hey, I said is there is there any media interest at all in, in the Netherlands in, in your in your games? Um not that I know of actually. Um no. No, not that there will be when you get to Wembley. When you get to Wembley, probably. <laughs> um, uh, what about um, about coming back from that? Um, uh, obviously, from the COVID situation, and you've got you've got two players playing very well in your your position. You've had to be patient there as well. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they did uh, great, and um, I already knew that those uh, they um, Jacko and Walshi were um, great great defenders. So um, yeah. It's not it's not really really hard to see them play in my position because they do very well and um of course I'd like to play but if they if they take their chances they 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 have to play so um, yeah and I guess the amount of games coming up you know that you're all going to get your chances because they you know you're playing every three or four days at the moment aren't you yeah that's the other thing we have so many games and um yeah even the like the 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 people on the bench they have to be ready at every time to um to come in come in or play the next game so we're we're a great team and uh, what about the, the game on friday looking forward to it yeah looking forward to it and um yeah just uh would be very good to have a, to get another win um and uh fortunately last last game was uh was a loss, but um, I think we play very well and um, just take the points back home this time. Yeah, you must have, of that performance last Saturday, watched it and thought, 
in 99 games out of 100, you'd win it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, they played so well. I think it's maybe one of the best games we played this season. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we have to worry. But, yeah, if you want to win the league, you have to, um, you have to win even these games. Um, so, yeah. The, the team are playing some really exciting free-flowing football. Is it is it exciting to be part of it as much as it is for us to, to watch you? Yeah, it's uh, it's great to be part of this team and um, especially because we, we like to play football and uh, the manager really wants us to play football. So um, that's very important in our, um, in our success, I think, this year to play.